Barb would also get a confidence boost at the hands of Dr. Fred Wexberg, who has the remedy for aging skin. I know in your past you've had some wild happenings, yeah. and I think it's taken its toll on your mm -hmm. skin. When you look at Barb's complexion, you can see she's lost so much volume on her face, and that really, really adds immensely to the appearance of aging. And so now that you have a different lifestyle, we're going to freshen you up, you'll have a great start. The plan for Barb was to start from the top and work our way down. We want to start from the dynamic or muscle-moving wrinkles. We're going to treat that with Botox. Now, as we go down lower on her face, then we have to replenish her volume. And we're going to do that with Restylane and Perlane. And then finally, she has no more lips. So we want to give her lips back. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, look at that, I have lips. So much of a difference, it's incredible. By the time I'm finished, I really am going to be a totally different person. And I can hardly wait. You weren't sober when your mother was alive. No, that was probably the very lowest point I was in. Before Barb could continue, she would want to share this important journey with the woman who meant the most to her, her mom. It's been 10 years since I've been here. I didn't know I'd be able to do this. Until you've lost a parent, you'll never know that feeling in the emptiness. I needed to say goodbye to Mama. Mama. I love you so much. Yeah, my mother was a great believer in working for what you wanted. Sure do miss you, Mama. For her to see me being able to get myself sober it would make her so proud of me. Get myself fixed up. Be proud of me again. Seeing my mom today is going to help me to write what I'm going to have to say to these kids. I'm going to make sure I tell other people not to do the stupid things I did. The only way kids are going to learn is to tell them. I'm doing it to honor both my parents and my children. I want them to understand that, you know, you've got to make the right choices while you can because every action has a consequence. I think she's a new woman and she needs to look like the new woman that she is. So David, we're meeting Barb today. Okay, Barb. And do me a favor, be nice because she's been through a lot. And to help bring out the new woman in Barb is fashion stylist David Clemmer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, nice we must have woken you up. No, I'm always like this. She came to the door in her full-on pajamas. Barb dresses this way all the time. I don't need to see the closet. We need to start talking right now. How can you walk in public wearing this? Barb's kids are actually embarrassed of the way she dresses. Oh, really? Let's see what they think about this outfit. Girls, I needed a second opinion. I wanted to hear right from the horse's mouth. What do you think of this outfit? We just pretend we don't know her. <gasps> they try and hide you, Barb. What do your friends at school say when they when they see your mom? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> we make sure. The children of this age never lie. <laughs> they don't even bring her to parent-teacher nights because they don't want their mother being caught dead in the school dressed like that. I promise to change your mother's outfits. I will put her in some really hot clothes, some that you may even want to borrow. Deal? Sounds good. All right. Ugh, from pajamas to a nighty. The dress was bad on so many levels. It was oversized and had dry shoulder pads. Barb's not a linebacker, she's the lady. What is that for? It's all part of it. Oh, oh my God, get it out! Hey girl. I didn't realize that I had that much fabric in that dress. I probably have about three dresses in there. Holy smokes! Oh, this is an awful outfit! How old is this? Well, it was 1985 when I bought it. Barb has such a great little shape, except you can't tell because she's completely covered. I need a lot of work. No, you don't! That's the thing! You just need us. We need a wardrobe intervention. Will new clothes bring out the new woman? But your daughters are gonna kill for this! Oh, they're not getting this one, David. Can Johnny fix her overgrown mane? You're starting to look like Cousin Ed. And does she have the guts to speak at her daughter's class? Oh, hold on. It's very hard to look at yourself and realize you're aging. I really would like to look like I should be looking, which is not this bad. Oh, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Whoa, well, you're not dressed like you're ready. Well, if Barb has the will, David can certainly show her the way, starting with great clothes. All of these outfits you're going to be wearing. Oh, beautiful. No, no shopping? Well, we pre-shop this puppy. Barb's kids may be embarrassed to take her shopping, but Bruce and I today, we are going to have a field day. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm loving this outfit. 
She was strutting, wearing the leggings and the purple top. She knew she was on fire. The woman is a diva. But your daughters are gonna kill for this. Oh, they're not getting this one, David. They the bar was really skinny, so I needed the accessories of the outfits to play up her curves. The big belt on the hip, the cowl neck. She looks shapely and sexy. Oh, look at it. Gorgeous. Unbelievable. This color is fantastic on you. What everyone wants to do is find that hourglass. That little bit of detail cinching in the waist created all of that extra bulk in her upper body, adding to the curves. We have to do a butt check. Oh, oh we have to do a butt check. I think the last time I had a butt was the last time I was pregnant, so this is quite a thrill. Look at that strut. Diva in the house. The gray skirt and the white top was the most polished look ever, and Barb deserves it. She has worked really hard to turn her life around. The woman deserves a fresh start. There's a lot going on here, and it's called hotness. To the new you. To the new you. Thank you, guys. Now I know I'm capable of looking very professional. I can go anywhere with my daughters. They will never be ashamed of me again. I can guarantee that. We certainly hope that's the case, as today is the day that Barb must face her daughter's high school classmates and tell her untold story of drug addiction. I really felt like I was ready to throw up. I didn't know what they expected from me, and I didn't know what I expected from myself. Hey, guys. So y'all ready? No, not at all. Um, this is going to be very tough. You can do this. Remember, just tell your story, the life of the past, and its new beginnings. Got it? Got it. I just reminded her that she can take a negative experience and turn it into a positive. Okay, class, we're lucky enough to have someone who's going to share her story and life lessons with us. Her name is Barb. Please welcome her. I was still good and nervous getting up in front of those kids. Oh, hold on. It really took you back a lot of years and reminded me how nerve-wracking it was getting in front of a classroom. I began a cocaine addiction that ended up lasting for 15 years. It really was loneliness that drove me there. And I just didn't feel I was spitting in with people. And it's hard to keep all your emotions under control when you're spitting out your own life story. So, and I think that probably helped the kids to understand that it is an emotional thing. After so many years of being addicted, I was lucky enough to find somebody in my life that helped me get through the addiction. I'm looking up and seeing my daughters in the crowd, it did give me strength and made me feel very secure in what I was saying. For every choice you guys take, there is a consequence. What consequences did you face? I've lost a lot of opportunities, you know. That I was quite amazed that the kids were as enthralled with what I had to say as they were. It was my choice in the end, you know. Sometimes you got to hold your head a little higher and say, hey, I'd rather be the person that says no in the end. For her to stand here today and to give that speech, that was just so empowering. Since you've quit, do you feel like you've gotten your life back on track the way you wanted to? Since I've quit, my life's much better. It doesn't matter what age you are, you can pick yourself up and keep going. The courage and the confidence that she built from it was phenomenal. Thank you. I'm so proud of my mom for doing this because next time someone asks them to do drugs or something, they'll think of mom's story. We thought your speech was very motivational and we really want to thank you for coming to, like, to talk to us. I know I feel better about myself, I know I made a difference with the kids, and I'm ready to move on. And move on she will. With the help of the Pro Art Dental Lab and our dentist, Barb is about to witness the transformation of her smile. Okay, here's the big moment. Thank you. Oh my god, they are gorgeous. It's like looking at somebody else. I've waited forever to have teeth again, so this is like the best present in the world. You guys are like angels from heaven, you know, really. Honest to God, I'm almost vibrating inside. It's a life-changing moment. Life-changing moments come in various ways, and a brand new haircut may just be one of those moments. Johnny, Barb's had a real tough life, but she's cleaned her act up. Maybe give her a little bit of sexy. Can you do that? I can do that. Barb has a great head of hair. The only problem with it is you couldn't see her face. She looked like Cousin It. Barb, we gotta work with this color. I mean, the gray hair is great and all, if you're looking to look old. The colors we chose for Barb were a dark base, something a little warmer, and some beautiful copper highlights. The look I want to give Barb is something away from her face. I'm going to layer it, bring the length up a little bit, take a lot of weight out, and really just show her features. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. 
Oh my God! When I started this journey, I thought, well, maybe I'll have a little change, but this is a huge change. And it's not over yet, as it was on to makeup artist Corby Banner. Barb, since you're getting contact lenses, let's take the frames off and have a real look at your eyes. Wow. Barb has beautiful eyes. She has great eyebrows and thick eyelashes. Unfortunately, she also has dark under eye shadows, which make her look tired and older. I'm freshening up your under eyes with a little concealer. Barb's under eye shadows create a ring through this area, so I use a concealer that's one tone lighter than her skin tone to freshen up that whole area. I want your eye makeup simple so people notice your eyes and not the eye makeup. So I stroke black eyeliner and use a brown shadow to exaggerate the length of her eye. The most important thing to get in the perfect lip liner is to pose your mouth in a sexy way, like this. To balance Barb's features, I wanted to give her fuller lips to make her look sexier and younger. Are you ready for Shazam? Oh my God! Barb's seven day makeover is now up. Stick around because when we come back, we're gonna find out what kind of first impression she makes with the jury the second time around. And how will she react to one more surprise?